Hey, welcome back to Press Pause. If, the word if, just has two letters, but it is a word that mentions conditions or circumstances followed by consequences. Something will happen if only something else will happen first. You catch my drift? Our parents used that word big time on us as we were growing up, and we probably have done the same with our own children. Sarah, if you eat your broccoli, you can have some chocolate or an ice cream cone after supper. Jeremy, if you finish your homework right after school, you can go outside and play hockey with your friends. Well, our Heavenly Father is no different than our parents. There are many references in the Bible, many promises that have the word if. And as you can guess, there are conditions to these promises. Our response to these promises, to the commands of God, will affect our relationship with Him and will determine what we receive from Him. You see, God will never impose His will on you. You decide whether you will respond to what He is saying or not. Jesus in Luke 9.23 says, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. John 14, 15, he says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. I like what Oswald Chambers says, the Lord does not give me rules, but he makes his standard very clear. If my relationship to him is that of love, I will do what he says without hesitation. If I hesitate, it is because I love someone I have placed in competition with him, namely myself. Jesus Christ will not force me to obey him, but I must. Rex Ruiz in his article, If the Biggest Word in the Bible states, the Bible principle is this, if man does, then God will. Religion takes the if off man and puts it on God. Jesus always puts the if on man's side and never on God's side. If man does, God will. So today is a day of reflection. It is a day to think about our responses to God's word and his promises just like we did when we sat at that dinner table and contemplated whether or not we would eat that broccoli for a piece of chocolate or an ice cream cone. Whether we would complete our homework before supper so that we could go outside and play with our friends. There definitely are benefits, unimaginable, if we obey God. For Jesus says in John 8, 51, I tell you the truth, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. Have a great day.